Karibu sana e, unayejifunza physics practical na leo tupo katika current ya electricity tunaendelea na kipindi kingine tutaenda kuangazia the way ambavyo unaweza ukafanya electromotive force and the internal resistance kwa kutumia voltmeter without ammeter ni miongoni mwa swali ambalo lilikuwa ni 2020 nileta debate kubwa juu ya challenge ambayo ilikuwepo lakini leo tutaenda kuitatua changamoto hiyo ambayo ilionekana kuwepo kulikuwa na challenge ambayo ipo katika nature of the graph na the way ambavyo data zina zinakuwa sasa wakati huo ni kwamba lengo letu kubwa hapa kitizama circuit ni voltmeter iko parallel na dry cell na when you connect a dry cell manake voltmeter inaenda kusoma ile ile potential difference au EMF ambayo ni ya cell then when you close the switch almost the current will flow through the circuit and then tunategemea voltage itaenda ku decrease wakati resistance nayo inaenda kuwa ina na increase kwa maana voltage ita increase na resistance yenyewe pia ta increase lakini mwanzo connect switch inaonekana voltage eh, inapungua but when you are low resistance ukiruhusu ile resistor kufanya kazi vile vile na potential difference inaenda kuongezeka so malengo yetu makubwa katika topic hii ni how to get data eh, kwa kutumia voltmeter and then at the end tunaenda kujua nature of the graph and then the last tutaenda kujua the way ambavyo unaweza kusolve kwa kutumia graph kusolve EMF and the internal resistance kwa hiyo uwe makini hapa na uweze kujifunza vya kutosha uweze kuelewa Turudi hapa mwanzo electromotive force and the internal internal resistance. The graph is 1 over V against the resistance, 1 over potential difference against the resistor or resistance. The circuit is this one. The formula which you obey in the circuit uh, is this one. It means we're going to get EMF is equal to current resistor plus internal resistance bracket this is a law au ni formula yetu ambayo tutaenda kuitumia katika au inayo obey the circuit or this experiment and then tunategemea kwamba how to get the nature of a graph how to get data first tuna resistance ya kwanza resistance ya pili ya tatu ya nne na ya tano so how to get potential difference our target to get we have the resistor we have we are required to get voltmeter and the one over voltmeter so how to get this potential difference because our resistance we have resistance tunatumia formula gani kuweza kupata data direct kinachofuata ni kwamba tuna resistor formula yetu iko hivi emf is equal to current resistance internal resistance but our target to get to get potential difference kutakuja hapo kwamba electromotive force is equal to current plus internal resistance and the current is equal to this one emf 
over resistor or resistance plus internal resistance. This is the first equation. This is the first equation. But from Ohm's law, current is equal to V over R. This is equation number two. So you have to substitute this one to this one. So it means current is equal to V over R is equal to electromotive force over resistance plus internal resistance. And when you want to get the voltmeter or potential difference, our formula will be we are going to times both sides this one and this one. So at the end, the formula will cancel, will be, will be EMF times resistance over resistance plus internal resistor. And this is our formula to solve the potential difference. Kwa hiyo na kuenda, kwa mba votimita, ni sawa sawa na EMF terms resistor over resistance plus internal resistance. And this is our, our formula. Remember that Electromotive force of one cell is equal to 1.5 and the internal resistance is equal to 0 0.5. So for the first, it means we need potential difference. We have resistance. Have this color. So resistor 1, resistor 2, 3, 4, and the five. So in that case, would it be for voltmeter potential difference, the first one would it be 1.5 times the resistor, the first resistor, one over one plus 0 0.5. So by using calculator, you can feel your, your data. So it means it will be 1.5 divided by 1.5. So the first T will be 1 here. The second, we are going to remove this one. It means we take this one. V2 will be 1.5 plus 2 over 2, uh, this is times, this is times, plus 0 0.5. And the value will be 1.2. Here will be 1.2 and this is 1.0 and the third for T meter number 3 will be 1.5 times 3 divide by 3 plus 0 0.5 it means for resistor 3 our voltmeter will read 1.3 and when you proceed with the number 4 
1.5 times 4 will be over 4 plus 0 0.5 for register 4 will be also 1 point, point 0.3 And the last number five would be one point four. And that is our column for for data. That is our column and that is our table. And because our graph required to plot a graph of 1 over v against r we are going to add 1 over v here so it means 1 over v it means we are going to divide this 1 over this one it means it will be 1 over 1 is equal to 1 1 over 1 is equal to 1 over 2 would be 1.2 would be 0 0.8 0 0.83 and uh, 1.3 will be 0 0.77 and it will be the same as this one and the last 1.4 will be 0 0.7 na hapo utakuwa una umeona kwamba our data is seen clear and they obey our experiment so you can use this data to comment your your readers just see, see the trend of resistance voltage of potential difference and the reciprocal of potential difference it means when the resistance increase the voltage potential difference also increase while the reciprocal of potential difference is decreasing so we expect this and this one to be vice versa So let's we proceed to see the nature of the graph. It means we obey our data or not. From the formula, EMF is equal to this one plus this one. It means EMF is equal to I R plus I R but to get 1 over V is equal to EMF is equal to I R is equal to V and this one I R in order to get V we have 1 over V, we have to reciprocate this value. It means it will be firstly V is equal to EMF minus I R. But current is a V over R. 
So we are going to substitute this one. It means V is equal to EMF minus V over R times internal resistance. To, to get the C proc, it means it will be 1 over V is equal to 1 over I, 1 over EMF minus R over V R. Because we need 1 over V against the R. This is our graph. It means it be 1 over V is equal to negative 1 over VR. And this is resistance. And this is the positive. Will be plus 1 over E. And when you look at the intersect, 1 over V and 1 over E, it looks like the same in SI unit. So, our nature of the graph will be negative slope passing through positive Y intersect. And our graph will be in this direction. This is 1 over V. This is R. When you go to your table of readers, it seems that when resistance increases, the reciprocal potential difference decreases. That is the meaning of the nature of a graph. Na hiyo ni objective ambao tumeipata na na imani yangu umenielewa how to solve emf from the formula from the formula the last formula was this one is equal to negative uh, negative 1 over vr and this one plus 1 over EMF. The nature of this one intercept this one. We are going to read this is the intercept. Y intercept. So would be Y is equal to MX. Y is equal to MX plus C. So C is equal to 1 over EMF. And the EMF will be is equal to 1 over C. That is how to get the electromotive force. And then internal resistance from slope is equal to 1 over V R negative but our slope will be negative also it means it will be negative 1 over V R but V is equal to EMF instead of this one instead of you having to get it, EMF. So it means slope negative slope would be from this one negative 1 over ER. So the value of EMF obtained to this one we are going to substitute to this one. So it means it will be 
negative 1 is equal to negative m e r so to get r is equal to 1 over slope emf and that is the last formula for our our solving na hiyo ndo lesson yetu ya leo kwa objective ambazo nimekupitisha namna ya kupata electromotive force namna ya kujua nature of the graph for this circuit for this circuit ukutana na siku nyingine utaweza kulifanya na kulipata kwa usahihi nadhani tuishie hapa tuwe na wakati mwema na masomo mema